Check, 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 check. Check, check. Check, check. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, Music Monday, so we got a special one. Um, this was actually uh, suggested to us by one of our subscribers, uh, Liz. Uh, she decided to pick an album, and I couldn't be happier with the selection. Uh, this is actually probably one of my favorite albums of all time, even though it's way, way before I was born. Uh, it's one that I grew up with. It's one that I can remember uh, my family having on vinyl, on CD, on cassette. I think it was one of the first ones that I bought in the iTunes library. Um, that's none other than Meat Loaf's Bat Outta Hell. Now, I'm a huge fan of this album, like I said, and uh, when I decided to start collecting vinyl, I had to get uh, the Meat Loaf vinyl. And this one is beautiful. Nice red and black. Oh, such a great album. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about the album itself first, uh, just to kind of give you an idea on exactly what's going on with this album. Now, this album started out, uh, debuted 1977, uh, and shockingly enough, uh, it was produced by Todd Rundgren. Uh, I found that to be a little interesting, had no idea. Now, this was originally a collaboration between the singer Meatloaf and uh, the composer uh, Jim Steinman. Um, if you can actually see on the album itself, uh, Meatloaf Bat Outta Hell, but at the very bottom over here, songs by Jim Steinman. So, uh, this was a huge issue. I, I know when they were creating the album, uh, Jim wanted equal pairing with Meatloaf. They were, they were a tag team. Uh, now this would actually come back in the future to cause some issues between the two. Uh, so after, I think there was a, a bit of a gap between, uh, Bat Outta Hell and Bat Outta Hell 2, which... Hopefully someday someone picks, because another great album. I just love Meatloaf. I can't help it. Now, uh, the thinking of this album originally started as kind of uh, they were developing a musical uh, called Neverland. Now, this was supposed to be a futuristic rock version of Peter Pan. Yeah, I, I, I would totally watch that. Uh, given the, the, the song choices that they went with. I think at the time they only had three songs um, that all three made it on the album. But wow, once you start hearing that, it's something that you just can't forget. You know, uh, it's certainly something that you could see progressing with the different songs and just minor tweaks here or there. And then you got Peter Pan. Now, uh, this album is actually one of the top three selling albums of all time. That part was crazy. So uh, I think number one, uh, Worldwide's Thriller, um, and then that number two, number three spot, um, they both sold about the same amount of albums. So uh, that's ACDC's Back in Black and Meatloaf's Bad Out of Hell. Uh, both uh, the last two both sold around 50 million albums, which just shows you how incredible this album is. Now, uh, upon looking about it, I saw that they actually in 2017 made Bad Out of Hell the musical. If anyone has seen this or knows where it's going to be, please leave a, leave a comment uh, down below. Because uh, I, I would love to see this. Now, I can say that uh, about five years back, I saw Meat Loaf in concert, and he's had a rough life. You can tell that. Uh, his voice hasn't really held up, um, especially with the type of singing that he does. He is just incredible. So the album's only seven songs long. And it's about a little over 46 minutes. And just wanted to talk about a few of the tracks with you. Uh, I'll give you my suggestions on if you just want to check out the album just to kind of get an idea of what songs to listen to. I'll give you a heads up on, on the songs themselves. So uh, we start off with uh, Bad Out of Hell. Um, number two, uh, you took the words right out of my mouth. Hot Summer Nights. Uh, Heaven Can Wait. All revved up with no place to go. Two out of three ain't bad, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights, and For Crying Out Loud. Now, I'm sure some of you who may not be familiar totally with the album probably go, yeah, I've heard of one or two of those, and you probably have. Um, I know, like I said, when my family, uh, my uncle used to drive us around, and this was the song we used to play, so, uh, the album we used to play, so 
I've been raised on meatloaf since I was a wee lad, and it's just stuck through me for all the years. So, uh, if you're looking to check this album out, which I cannot say uh, any more that you should, this is a fantastic album from start to finish. Uh, you can tell uh, it's definitely meant for that musical genre. I know with Meatloaf coming from the musical theater aspect and even Jim Steinman coming from musical theater, um, there's a heavy influence on there. Now, something I found interesting was uh, Max Weinberg actually played drums. Uh, he's credited with playing drums on the album. So if you don't know who Max Weinberg is, uh, some of you may know him as the drummer for Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band. Uh, but a lot of you may know him as the drummer from Conan, or you probably don't. That that show was canceled, so. Um, but yeah, Max Weinberg, Todd Rundgren played guitar, Jim Steinman on the uh, on the keyboard, Meatloaf singing. Uh, you could tell why this was going to be a great album. Now, if you're only going to listen to a handful of songs, I'll give you my top five songs. Uh, I'm starting off with uh, Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. Uh, that little roller coaster of a song is just simply amazing. It's gonna catch you singing it no matter what. Um, if you're a karaoke or you probably heard someone do this probably terribly, but it's a fun, fun song. Uh, number two, um, you know, I'm gonna go with two out of three ain't bad. I think it's a nice little love song. Um, and very apropos to the music. Uh, so building up these different layers on what journey you're going to go through. Uh, two out of three ain't bad actually leads into Paradise by the Dashboard Lights. Not that this is a rock opera, but it certainly could be. Uh, let's go with number three. Uh, I'm going to go with Bad Out of Hell. Uh, it's the first song. It's the one that sets the tone for it. And it is just a crazy instrumental piece. I mean, it's supposed to take you through this journey of a guy on a motorcycle driving into hell. Yep. Yep, that happens. Um, all revved up with no place to go is probably going to be my fourth pick with that. And number five is probably you took the words right out of my mouth. Now, if any of you haven't listened to it, I suggest uh, get checking it out. I'll uh, provide a link to my Amazon page uh, if you want to purchase it. I'll put a Spotify playlist, or uh, Spotify link as well. Uh, now with the Amazon, it doesn't cost you any extra, but Amazon definitely helps the channel anytime you purchase while using that. So uh, if it's something you could do, we certainly would appreciate it here. Now, uh, that's going to be it for me. Again, Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell, probably one of my favorite albums of all time. Definitely check this out. Um, thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to the channel and you made it this far, click the subscribe button if you want to see our content. Uh, like it if you, if you can. And then click that notification button. Anytime that we send out a new video, you'll definitely get notified that it's up there. So uh, thank you guys again for stopping by, and we'll see you down the trail.